Hey folks, my name is Ryan and welcome back to a new Pokemon card opening. So, last time I said uh, that the next one would probably be Generations and that I didn't manage to get the other tins besides uh, Flareon. Well, guess what just changed? But two tins is a bit too little to do a card opening. So I also got myself something else to open. I'm actually curious what's going to be in here because uh, the Dragon Knight already looks pretty cool and I like uh, the big cards. So let's just skip over to us having I've just, um, grabbed everything out of these things and laid them out here. All right, We've got actually quite an interesting setup over here. If you see anything different on the camera it's because I uh, changed a bit to show it, uh, the packs off better. Because the uh, tins came with Sword and Shield, Vivid Pulpit, Ch Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies. While the box came with Evolve Skies, Chilling Range, Vivid Fulvich, and uh, Rebel Clash. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same as always and go back in time. But uh, we're going to leave the Rebel Clash for the last uh, row. So let's just see what we can get out of here. I'm actually quite curious uh, now. Because um, last two videos, yeah, the last one I didn't get anything. But the one before that, we got an alternate heart. So let's see uh, what my luck is going to give me now. And we're going to start off with Electric Energy. The Boost Shake. Come on, give me the boost I need. Rebombi. Our favorite coffee table, Avalug. Teddy Ursa. Our favorite snow, little snowflake, Ryogonal. Nicket. Dwebble. There's a Rufflet. There's the Reverse Lantern. Last time we got the Reverse Lantern, there was the Umbrian behind there. Into a Thiefel. Seems it's not this. They're going to be like that this time. Oh well. And let's see what Chilling Rain is going to do. What set is going to give us the best thing? I mean, Rebel Clash is a bit in a disadvantage due to there only being one pack. But hey, let's see what it can give us. But first, let's do this Chilling Rain pack. I mean, there are still some really good cards in here. Steel Energy. Welcoming Lantern. Clara. There's Brawly. There's Blitzel. Ghastly. Goffing. Delibird. I like the Delibird with the tiny pair Christmas packages. There's the Glare and Farfetch'd. It's Grapplelock. That's the reverse. Into a Slurpuff. We're going over for two right now. See if Vivid Voltage can uh, change that. I mean, a cool uh, card to pull out of here is the uh, Chonkachu, the big fat Pikachu. Huh. Here's the code card. Then one, two, three, four to the front. And I'll show you the water energy in the Wyndham Stadium. Dub Striker, Excadrill, Nikada, the ever loving ball Voltorb. Rockruff? Oh, that's a cute one with uh, him scratching his ear and a cutie fly on there. There is Wismer crying in a river. Rubbish. There's Genesect as the reverse into a Lucario. Over three. Um, Let's see, since we have that, and we're going to go back to Evolving Skies. Because now we have two packs of everything and one pack of uh, Rebel Strike. Rebel Clash, sorry. Here's the code. Two, three, four. And here we go. We start off with a fighting energy. So let's give us a fighting chance. Shogun looking up at the sky. There's Swoobat throwing something out of his nose. There's Lombre. Petite Leel in the rain. Bergmite floating over there. Drowsy giving you hypnosis or something. Scraggy in the gym. Playing and running around. Reverse Hippowdon into... Oh dear god! <laughs> wow! This is the second time I'm pulling this card. Damn! We've got ourselves a secret rare Italian Rapid Strike Quick Shooting. Which is really nice because... Um, Quick shooting in Italian is one of the most used engines out there in Pokemon uh, TCG. And having a, uh, a secret rare of that 
That's more than welcome. Oh, this is really good now. I forgive everything uh, this opening has given me so far. But let's see. Can we make it better? Here's the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. We're going to start off with the fire energy. Into spiral energy. Honey, I'm home. Avery, Beal, Athena, Rockruff, Shuppet. There's the Chaos form, which you don't need em uh, energies. Well, you need stadiums in your uh, discard pile to uh, use it. I'm still thinking about making a casual deck for uh, new people to get introduced to the game and making it uh, about cast form. Would be fun. As the Galarian Yamas gets the reverse. Oh! <laughs> no! You gotta be kidding me. Holy crap. That's uh, Melanie as a rainbow. No, I've only pulled rainbow trainers up until now and no uh, full arts. Well, I've only got a bird keeper up until now, but I don't think I recorded that one. But still, rainbow Melanie. Melanie is also a card I play. Because I, um, of course, my favorite Pokemon is uh, Glacian. And I'm currently using a Glacian VMAX deck. That's pretty cool. Let's put these to the sides. And then there's Vivid Voltage. We got two hits in a row and two very cool hits. Let's see. Are we going to have three in a row? That would be awesome, to be honest. Here is the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. I'm going to start off with the dark energy into some Moo Moo Cheese. There's the what? Or the what? Parathorn is a thorn in my side. Talo, the little clay uh, artwork. A Sandile. Oshawott. Pineco. School of art, art, actually. There's Clefairy. Reverse Wash Energy. Pretty cool. Into a Galarian Darmanitan V. I mean, once again, a V pool. I call it a. I call it a hit. There we go. So we actually did get that three hits in a row, but we're not done yet. Here we have Sword and Shield. The first time we're going to open it this uh, episode. There is the. Code, yep. One, two, three, four to the front. And we're going to start off with the fire energy into a Sudowoodo. Raboots. That's the Vitality Band with Krabby. Oh, that's a cool artwork with all the bubbles. Jinjiao. Baltoy. Naked. Vulpix. Ooh, Vulpix. I like that one. I should actually make a, a binder with uh, artworks I just really like. There's by sharp as to reverse into a obstacle. Uh, you know what? I'll just put you up there. Because normally I wouldn't put him down here, but um, since this is a tin slash box opening, I would rather have you uh, to show the packs we have left instead of a booster box where uh, uh, it's just all one kind uh, of one set of pack. Let's start with our last. Um, evolving Skies pack of this opening. And then we're going to make our way back to Sword and Shield once again. We got ourselves some Grass Energy. Into a Pounder. Hey, I saw, saw you earlier, but reverse. There's Golduck. Herdeer. Dino. Teddy Ursa. Feebas. Hophip. Hitmonchan. There's Raihan as the reverse this time. Into a Milotic. On shield, you have already given us the Intellion, so I have nothing to complain about. And there's Chilling Rain giving us the Melanie. And Vivid Voltage up until now gave us the Galarian with our Manitan. The only things we didn't actually pull anything out of just yet is, well, Rebel Clash, of course, but it only has one chance. And Sword and Shield. Let's see what Chilling Rain is going to give us. 
That's Grass Energy. That's Kakuna, Single Strike. Karen's Conviction. Equin Horn. Larvesta. Mareep. Heracross. Measle. Druki. Perfru as the reverse. Into a Foil Cresselia. Cool. Just gonna put you over here just so you're in fight. Or at least in view. And there is Vivid Voltage. Oh, this pack is... And it feels... Uh, this pack feels like some baggy pants. It's just way too big for what's in, in there. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Come on. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four to the front. And we start off with Fire Energy. Giraffaric. Electric. Delmice, love Delmice. Doodle. Let's try Mecco as some yarn. Voltorb. Ninkada. Rockruff again, the cute eye word. That's the Wisma we saw earlier as a reverse. Into a Magena. Ooh. We Anthony attack the draw. This is like this. That's actually a cool card. That's a cool foil. Uh, you go over there. I mean. It might but oh what the hell's with this do you see this how it's just straight cut off it feels like it's actually square this pack that's weird the other one was a bit baggy this one feels really tight oh man that's weird i mean this one we got from the dragonite v box i mean hopefully it's a good sign I mean, we said it with the last one too, but hey, we can always hope. There is Psychic Energy, the first time we've seen that one. Shuckle, there's Luxio, Durant, Darumaka, Bunnelby, Vulpix, oh, that's a cute one again. Phantom, that's also a good card art. I just love Pokemon card arts. Lion of Farfetch'd, the training court is to reverse. We're getting a good, good amount of reverse and good cards we can actually use, or I can use, into the Arcanine. All right, cool. Then last pack. Even though I've already gotten two really good things, I'm going to ask if we can end on something cool. Because I'd like to end videos on a high note. Here's the code card. And one, two, three, four to the front. All right, people, here we go. There's the dark energy. Dottler. Mantine. All right. Um, this is actually a fun little thing. How many of you thought that Remorade would normally evolve into Mantine? Because in the original sprites of the original games, you had Remorade swimming under Mantine, just like here. Nobody ever expects it to evolve into Auxiliary. It's a quick ball. It's a good card. Krabby. Yamper, Silly Cobra, Gossifleur, that is another good card. This is the uh, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Baltol, uh, Baltoy, sorry, as reverse, and we're going to finish it off with a Frostmoth Foil. I mean, that's pretty good still. Frostmoth is actually a pretty good foil for water decks, so I'm not disappointed to the least. All right. And because we actually did pull a couple of good things uh, this time, we're going to show them off for a bit. We've got the Cresselia foil, which now I can uh, look at the card out in the back, which is really cool. That's good. And that looks like some... Oh, it looks like he's in a church or she's in a church. Yeah, some stained glass and everything. Where is that? That's the Obstagoon, the glaring Obstagoon in the Tundra, I believe. Uh, this is the Chilling Rain one, right? No, this is Sword and Shield. Huh. That's the Migena we got from Vivid Voltage. Migena is a cool looking Pokemon, but god damn it's still powered in, no in the normal games. That's the Frostmoth we got from... What the heck is that? I think that's also base Sword and Shield. Yeah. Now we're gonna go over to our V pool. That's the Glaren Darmanitan with his big uh, snowman head. Pretty cool. And our uh, two good pulls. We've got... Uh, let's just show the Melanie first. 
pretty cool because I played a card, but I'm not gonna uh, put it in my deck. I'm just gonna put it in my uh, in my binder because I like uh, setting these cards up as a binder. Whatever I don't know what I'm gonna do with is this card because I already pulled a gold uh, Italian earlier. Do I just put two in there or should I play this one? We'll see. And then we still have our little Vaporian V. I'm still planning on making every um, evolution a deck. Because I just love the evolution. Jolchen is actually a pretty good deck at the moment. So uh, that might be interesting. And last we uh, got the Dragonite. It also looks really cool. It's actually quite interesting now that I think about it. That we got the Jolchen and uh, Vaporian did now. Because the Dragonite uses water and electric energy. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, basically all of this card opening. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.